What's up guys, Sergio here, back with another video, and today we're gonna be doing another food review, and this is gonna be on Kashi Go Cinnamon Vanilla Cereal. So, this is a keto-friendly cereal. I know you guys are probably saying, Sergio, why do you keep reviewing Kashi products? And I say, they just keep on giving us new stuff, so I'm gonna keep reviewing it. So they have uh, several different uh, flavors, and I saw the Cinnamon Vanilla, so you guys already know that I had to try it out. So. This is interesting though. I was looking at the uh, macros on this thing. Uh, you're getting 160 calories per serving, so 40 grams or a cup. You're getting seven grams of fat. You're getting 18 grams of carbs, and then you're getting 12 grams of protein. Now this has five grams of fiber in it as well. Now here's the interesting part, guys. It's the ingredients. So you have lentil protein, sunflower oil, chickpea flour, pea protein, tapioca starch, allulose, chicory root fiber, cinnamon, guar gum, salt, baking soda, vanilla extract, natural flavors, monk fruit extract, and mixed tocopherols for freshness, and rosemary extract for freshness. Now what's interesting about this is the allulose. This is actually something I haven't heard of before, but actually I looked it up, and what allulose is, it's actually a sugar and it's known as a rare sugar because small amounts are found in certain fruits and what's so interesting about allulose is that the calorie count is 0.4 calories per gram so like a gram of sugar is going to be four calories this is going to be 0.4 calories and then on top of that um, i was looking up that your body doesn't really process it so it's really acts kind of like fiber so I really found that interesting. And so I think the fact that allulose is in here is gonna give it a you know sweet taste. So it's not an artificial sweetener, but it's gonna be like that because it's that's I think how they're able to keep the sugar count so low is with this allulose, so it's gonna taste sweet. So really interesting, never heard of that um, nutrient before, but yeah, that's a thing. And you probably will see it in healthier products, you know, protein bars, things like that, where they're trying to stay low on the sugar, but still have a sweet impact. When it comes to plant-based things and when they're trying to take the grain out of it, it's very risky. I did one other keto cereal and it was okay, but there's always a risk because you're taking the grains out, so that means you're not gonna have a lot of sugar in theory, so. Yeah, we'll see how it tastes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour a serving of this and then I will see you guys in a second. So there, there they are, if you guys can see it. They look like flat looking Cheerios. I just wanna say, this smells heavenly. Like you can smell the cinnamon, you can smell the vanilla. It smells really good. This is probably the best smelling cereal that I've had so far. So the smell is on point. So it's got an A for smell. So let's see if it has an A for taste. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I had a really, ooh. Has a really weird kick at the end. Hmm. I'm conflicted. This is the first review where I'm very conflicted about the taste. Because on one hand, it tastes really good, and I'm loving the cinnamon, and I'm loving the vanilla. But that's a really weird aftertaste, like a really weird, like, I don't know what it is. It's, I don't know if earthy is the word, like, it starts off sweet, but then it just plummets. There's something about, about it that, like, I can't put my finger on what that taste is. Um... So I want to say it tastes great. It tastes really good, but that aftertaste is kind of weird. I wonder if I added milk to this, if it would kind of hide that aftertaste a little bit, and we would be, you know, good to go. But it reminds me of kind of like, like a cinnamon toast kind of, or like if you guys saw my other review where I reviewed like that uh, keto crunch or something like that cinnamon cereal. It reminds me of that, but with a weird aftertaste, like cinnamon toast crunch with a dark or like a dank aftertaste and it's subtle but I feel like if you eat a lot of it you'll really start to um, taste that 
Let me get one more handful just to confirm that. I don't know, guys. I really think you should, should try this one out and decide for yourself uh, if you like it or not because it, it's close. It's a, it's a yes with a little bit of a no. I can honestly probably get past the aftertaste, but some people probably wouldn't. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Definitely check the cereal out. I recommend you try it. So I, I at least recommend that much. Um, the macros aren't bad. 12 grams of protein, you really can't beat that. Like that's pretty good for a cereal and you're only getting, it's only 460 calories. So I would recommend the cereal from that standpoint. That's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and you found this review helpful. If you guys did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Man, I've never been so conflicted before over a cereal.